Hello everyone, welcome back and welcome new viewers to more Stormworks. Today we're doing refining oil. It's about time, right? So let's get working. For this one we're actually gonna build uh, because it's a little bit easier to kind of show you what's going on with this by building and, ooh, you know what? I don't like the way, let's go to another build zone and uh, we'll test there and then we can come back to the actual ref oil spot. All right, I've just jumped over to Monkey Brains here, uh, the, the launch pad area. So let's just build here, uh, make, make it easier for me. The reason I say that is because over on the oil rig area, you can't do this. This does not exist as part of the way you can build and it makes things kind of obnoxious. So we'll build here and then we'll take it over there and plop it into place, all right? All right, first things first, we're gonna need a platform to work off of. That's pretty easy to do. So we'll do that. Why does, what happened there? Uh, okay, there we go. Had it chopped in half. Uh, we're gonna need a tank, obviously, for oil storage. So I'm gonna grab a tank and we'll plop that in and then we'll build off of that. Okay, for the sake of speed, I've built a custom tank here and you guys can build any kind of shape tank you want. Uh, I've also grabbed a spawner off the workshop that spawns oil because we don't have that yet. And that's gonna actually make this a little bit quicker. So we don't have to go through the whole drilling process to get the oil and to do this. We can just go straight from oil and tank straight to the refining process. All right, from our tank, we're gonna need some way to get this oil out and get it moving. So we're just gonna come down here and we're gonna put a pump and we can place it just like that. All right, so let's go down to industry and let's see what kind of parts we have and see what we can use for this. All right, here we are in industry. We've got a couple options here. We could use the electric furnace, we could use a firebox, which uses coal, or we could use the industrial diesel furnace. Uh, simple enough, all you need is electricity to run this, but this is really loud and it sounds like you're constantly welding something. So for this example, I'm actually gonna use the industrial diesel furnace because it has a little bit of extra component to it. Uh, it needs fuel, which is kind of a, you know, what we're making here. So it, we can kind of make it run indefinitely once we actually get it running, which is kind of neat. Uh, so you'll have a diesel in on one side, you'll have coolant in and coolant out, which this really should just say oil in and oil out. So it's a little confusing there. And we've got air and exhaust. So think about this running kind of like an engine. Uh, so for that, let's grab some pipes. We're gonna put a couple pipes here. I wanna get a couple straight pipes, that's air. This one is our exhaust. So we're gonna come way up high with this cause I don't wanna be standing around in smoke. And hopefully this gives it kind of a neat look too as well. Uh, air, we just need to put a little air filter on this. We can just do that, simple enough. And then we need a couple more pumps. Uh, so this is out. We'll turn that one around and that one in. And that's what's gonna circulate oil through the furnace, heat it up, and then it's gonna be able to separate and produce diesel and jet fuel for you guys. Uh, let me move this over a little bit. All right, we're going to slide that out of the way. We'll paste that, merge it all together. And then that'll give us room to kind of build in here. And then we can kind of squeeze things together and make them a little bit easier. Uh, let's get this furnace going. So let's grab a key. Perfect. We'll just slap that right there. We'll make it super simple. We'll put the whole duration to small and we'll call this uh, furnace. All right? Isn't this a furnace? A furnace, right? From here, we're going to need some more pipes. And I think we can use some angled pieces here. That should work like that, work like that, and then we'll spin one around like so. Uh, and that should work there. That way this one can come straight into here. And actually, I feel like we could raise this up a little bit too. Uh, I'm gonna raise this up some more. Let's give it a nice look here. All right, so we're gonna cut that, raise it up to the right height here. Is that the right height? That looks like it's the right height. We'll paste it and merge it again. Nice, and then we'll come up here and we'll give it some fake supports because it'll look nice that way. There, like it's got something to stand on. Feel free to build this however you want. This is just how I'm doing it. Now, the furnace only needs a little bit of fuel to get going. It doesn't take a whole lot, so we can actually use two small vanilla tanks on here and that should work. On, a, on initial spawn, it's gonna pull the, the, the diesel out of here into the furnace and then once we light it, things will start refining and then you'll have diesel coming into this almost indefinitely and the furnace will run until your oil runs out basically. Uh, so from there, where do we go from there? Uh, let's get back over here on the back side. We're gonna need some fluid ports, simple enough. And we're gonna need to start closing this in. Now, if you want, you could build a giant tank uh, that has your oil in it and all this refining process could be on the inside, but we're gonna we're gonna limit this down We want to make this small kind of compact. Uh, we want this oil to heat up really fast So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna make this really small and compact so this oil can heat up really fast now 
with your distillation ports, these are kind of unique. They they go every three three blocks. Let's go ahead and place some of these down so you guys can understand what I'm talking about here. So as we do this, and we start building our distilling tower, these first two are only going to be able to take oil. They will not distill anything from there. So the next eight is actually going to be diesel. So I'm going to go ahead and put eight of these down. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and color these so you guys can see what I'm talking about. For the first two, they will only do oil. So no matter what you do, this zone here will only do oil. Next, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this is the range that diesel is produced. Now, the next set, this is where jet fuel starts coming in. The jet fuel will be any of these here. So, and is I don't know how far up you can go, but it's, you know, we don't need to go super high up because we're only going to be distilling a little bit. But for the sake of this, this is how high your tower roughly needs to be, you know, if you're distilling things. Uh, so from there, what we can actually do is build a tower on the side of this. Now, a lot of you would probably want to build uh, a tower around this, you know, and have your oil on the inside of this. And you'd be heating up all the oil that's on the inside of this zone. Uh, and that might take a little bit of a while. So what we're going to do is we're going to do something a little bit smaller that I've seen in my community and it, I think it works pretty good. So we're going to get rid of this. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to come down here and we're going to pretend like this is right here. So, and actually we can go ahead and move this over. I think that might actually be a little easier. And then you guys can understand what's going on here. So we'll go ahead and cut all this out and move this up. Let's rotate it and we'll slide this into place. I'm going to move this over to right there and i think we can come down one more let's come down one more and paste that so now we're going to build our tower all our liquid's going to come out of here and it's going to go straight up uh, so the nice thing is as long as you have this tip here placed up against another block whatever's on the opposite side of that block can actually be distilled so we can kind of do uh, that's not how i wanted to do it um so what we're going to do here's what we're going to do i'm going to take all these we're going to get rid of rid get rid get rid of this we're not making oil. We've already got oil. We're gonna get rid of all of these until we're left with just two. That's all we need is just these two because uh, we want diesel and we want jet fuel. So I'm gonna start building a tower that goes from this area here all the way up and we're gonna build it out of glass because it's gonna make it nice and small. I'm gonna grab a couple windows here that I can use. I think I'll need probably these shapes right here. So we'll go ahead and place those and let's build onto here. Here, I'm gonna try and turn uh, symmetry mode on. That might help us out a little bit. Grab some one by ones. There we go. And then we're gonna need to put a block here. Okay, that's not gonna help us out. So we'll have to build up like this and across. And that will cover that little spot there. And that's perfect. Uh, from there, we can start taking a couple of these and we can build up all the way up to our distillers. And at this point, I wish we had draggable windows. We're gonna come up here now this is this is clipping so this isn't gonna work so when we get to this spot we're gonna actually have to turn our windows around and that's okay so we're gonna come back down here and do the same thing we're gonna build up all right we've built all the way up there same thing on the sides here uh, so let's see I'm gonna grab a two window here so everything kind of matches up go back to our three by ones and what's nice about using the windows is when we actually start doing the distilling process you can see the oil inside which is kind of neat Come all the way up all the way up up and now we've got to get these turned around so what we're going to do uh we're going to take this bottom window here we're going to cut it and we're going to slide that into place up to here paste it drag it down paste it drag it down and we can flip this one back around again and paste so now we got to merge all this together okay so that's not wanting to merge so we'll put one on top and give it something to merge to all right, all merged up. Let's get all this out of the way, all out of the way. We need an actual window up here to block this off, or we could use a block like I had there. Uh, but I think I want to use a window. Of course, I can't place it there. Awesome. So we'll just do it like that, and we'll just cut it in this, cut it into a spot. All right, all that's merged in nicely. Let's see, make sure we got all one solid color. Yep, perfect. All right, so in this zone here, at this level, this is where diesel is going to be produced. Right here is where jet fuel is produced, and we're good to go here. Uh, I'm going to finish painting this up here just so it makes a little more sense and do all that. Okay. Uh, for the sake of making this look like it's stable, let's bring this all the way down here and get rid of those windows. 
and we'll put us a regular square pipe in here. Again, there's other ways to do refining. This is the way I've learned. So this is the way I'm going to show you guys. And I hope that it, you know, you can build some really cool builds like this or, you know, come up with your own style. Uh, so let's see, where do we go from there? We need to run pipes down from these guys here into t separate tanks. We'll do that there. Do one off the side there. Let's go ahead and color code these for you guys. So orange will be our diesel. Red's going to be our jet fuel. And that's fine and dandy right there. We'll go ahead and paint these as well. And there we go. All right, so coming off of these, we're going to have to come over into some storage tanks here. We'll just do something like that. Come off of it like this. Come off of it like this. Perfect. And I'm going to grab the old uh, vanilla tanks. If I can spell it right. And we'll just set one. Is it too tall for it? We'll have to put a, we'll have to put a platform here. No worries. Platform. Platform that should get us to where this will match up here. Okay, platform is too high. Or was it? It was the right height. Okay, so doing like that, and then we'll flip the other one over, like so. All right, let's make this a little neater. And we can add a couple more tanks on here for just some extra space here. All right, so we want the top ones to be jet fuel, and then we're gonna make all these empty. All right, and the bottom ones are diesel, and we're making all those empty as well. Okay. Finish making our platform here for these to stand on. Okay, from here, we want to come back around. We want our diesel. Uh, let's go ahead and make sure we paint everything up so you guys can see what's going on. We'll do all that. These will be jet fuel, do 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 do. These will be diesel, do 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 do. Uh, let's get some pipe in here. We can do this. And we're just trying to get over here to this tank here so that when we have diesel flowing, it can also refill the tanks here and keep the furnace going. Now you can use coal burners, you can use the electric, uh, that's all fine, do what, do what you want, but uh, this is what I'm using for the example. And this is how I think it works good. Paint those up and should be good to go there. Uh, we could do a directional valve uh, right about here, and that would prevent any diesel that does make it into these tanks from coming back and actually being used. So that when this does run out of oil, if you're running, you know, processing, doing that. Uh, once this fills up and burns out, it won't keep sucking diesel out just to run the furnace for no reason. Uh, so that'll be kind of a safety measure there. Uh, from here, we're gonna need some extra pieces here. Let's go ahead and make this look like it's supported, just because. All right, so in here, we're gonna have to do some changes. So we're gonna have to get rid of this. Uh, we're gonna need a temperature sensor, which will read the temp inside this little zone here. And you can kind of place that in on a block like so. Uh, and we're also going to need a fluid meter. We can place that down like so. And that should be, we just have to seal this up with another little window. Perfect. There we go. All right. And we're actually doing pretty good here. Let me, uh, let me paint some more here uh, so you guys can understand what's going on. This is all oil. It goes into these. Uh, it gets processed in that. Uh, and it comes out of this pipe here. And then all of this is going to be oil as well. All right, so we're going to need some thresholds. We can take those. We can just plop those right down on the side there. All right, so I did forget something. We're going to need a couple pumps. Uh, so we can we can just kind of grab a pump from here. Uh, hold control. You can do that. Uh, we're going to put a pump here and a pump here. And that's going to help pull the fluids out of the refinery part. So we can do that and that. We'll paint them the appropriate colors. There we go. All right, so from this first threshold gate, we are going to hook up our temp to here, and we're going to turn on the pumps here, and we're going to turn on the pumps here. Good so far. And this other one turns on the pump here. Good so far. All right, let's hook our key up to our ignition source on the furnace here. Good so far. All right, next step. What are these thresholds? For this first one, we're going to set our low threshold at 350 and our high one at as high as you can go. Uh, and you might want to change these values. This is what I've learned. Uh, they work right now, but there's probably some better values that work in here, but this will work. Uh, the other one, we're going to go from zero to 300. Okay. So what's going to happen is when the temperature in the firebox gets up to 350, we're going to start turning these pumps on and it's going to start making things flow. So we're going to take this fluid level here 
and we're going to come into here. So when this gets below, say, 300 liters, it'll keep filling this up. So we just want to keep liquid in here at all times, but we don't want to have it so full that it causes problems. You don't want to be pushing oil back through your system. Uh, so that should work. Uh, we can come in here and grab ourselves a dial. We'll hook that up right there. And that'll just give us, you know, we can read the temperature inside this area here as well. Uh, because if this is not up to temp, then we're not making anything. All right, from there, we'll get a battery. You can just slap that right there. Hook up everything here. And we should be good to go. Uh, you know, I'll put a couple more batteries in here just for, uh, just for safety's sake. And we'll hook all these up. That should give us all the power we need. All right, let's test this out and see if this works. All right, so here is our refining tower. Let's crank this up. Oh, I've got infinite electric on, so it already started pumping uh, fuel into that. Uh, let's fix that, but shouldn't change much. Let's go ahead and get it started. The furnace sounds like a rocket, so that's gonna happen. Get used to that. Let's put detailed mode on so you guys can see what's going on in these tanks. They're empty right now. These fuel tanks are empty. We're burning the fuel that we had. I mean, we should be full of oil in here. Yep, we're full of oil in here. I'm drowning. And it shouldn't be much longer before we start seeing some uh, some of this work. All right, the refinery temp just hit 300, so we should be start we should start seeing something here. All right, the diesel level is actually going up in the furnace. That means we're actually producing diesel now already. Uh, so once the diesel furnace fills up, then these tanks will fill up, and then these will start filling up. And we're also producing jet fuel. So. There it is, super simple refinery. Uh, I'm gonna wait just another minute for these guys to start filling up just so you can see that it is actually overflowing into that side. I think the diesel furnace holds about 150 liters, so we'll have to get to that point before it does overflow. But yeah, I mean, very few little parts and we are producing some serious fuel here that we could sell. Uh, now I would recommend you actually make a big large storage tank like this for these guys and that way you could store a whole lot and you could actually start pumping out of here into storage containers or other things that be moving it across the world to go sell it. Okay, I was wrong. The diesel level is 174.9, whatever. So this is like a medium tank. Uh, we should start filling up into these, no? Are we? We're going straight into these now. Okay, so what's happening is, is the diesel furnace is full and it's just constantly burning the fuel out of these two tanks. That's why these tanks aren't filling up. But yeah, it is, it's producing diesel. We have diesel overflow into these tanks and we have jet fuel over into here. So yeah, guys, super simple way to uh, make fuel. Uh, I hope this video helped you guys out. Um, if you did, uh, make sure you throw a like on this video, subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. I will leave a link to this on the workshop so you guys can download this as well. Uh, free to use, feel free to pick it apart, rebuild it, do whatever you want to with it, I really don't care. This is so you guys can learn. Uh, but yeah, this is something that we should probably plop onto our actual drilling rig and then we could have it all in one place. Uh, and then you can, guys can come up with some really crazy ideas there. But uh, if you have any ideas about how to change this or make this more uh, efficient, let me know. Uh, tell me down in the comments. I'll be happy to uh, happy to read those and see what's going on. But yeah, guys, again, thanks so much. Appreciate you 100%. And this has been Oil Refining.